Well, good morning, everyone. This is Howard of AB Transfers UK from a very, very cold forum. Word. Oh, my Lord, it's cold. So what have we got this morning? Well, I've been busy um, with a bit of R&D, and today's toy is called a Sondor M3. What is that? Well, as you know, we do film scanning. We've got a very nice uh, retro scan, frame-by-frame -frame, uh, 4K scanner for 60 millimeter and various other formats, but sound is a problem if it's not optical. So we needed a way to pull off magnetic sound and uh, normally people use projectors for that, but to be honest, not ideal because you don't need a projector to play back sound. And some film is actually not film at all. This is actually a uh, magnetic tape that would have been synchronized with the film on playback. So we got this, this machine, in fact, we got a couple, um, and uh, this one we actually got a spares. It was not functioning uh, for reasons that may have been my own fault uh, uh, or just the fact that they're very old. These were born, these were born I, I use the word born because they were born in 1973. Uh, that's a year after I was born, and it makes me feel very old. Uh, so <laughs> turning it around, we'll have a look in here. We've got... A lot of germanium transistors and uh, things like that, but we couldn't get the machine to work. Uh, if it's a crystal sink, if it's um, there are all sorts of reasons why it may or may not be working. But uh, I pulled my hair out quite a bit, and this thing was very bulky. It came with a, a power lamp that was about the size of a small refrigerator, and I don't have space for that. So stripped this machine apart. Uh, being a repair, a spares or repair unit, this particular one in the first place, um, I decided to take it in my own, um, uh, take a chance really, and uh, re retrofit this machine. So I replaced the big bulky power supply with a very cute little 5 amp uh, 12 volt power supply. And uh, then the motor wouldn't run, so we've uh, replaced the motor with a stepper motor. And the stepper motor is driven at 24 volts, and that has replaced the main uh, drive of the machine uh, with a speed control, so we can match it exactly to the film. So there's the stepper driver motor, uh, motor and the, uh, the power driver and the controller. And then we had to make some modifications to the uh, take-up and feed reels, which were tripping because they're drawing too much current trying to pull so fast. So I had to. They were trying to pull the films too fast and causing too much damage to the film. So I put a couple of fat resistors in on a heat sink, one on each side, to reduce the, the torque on the, on the motors. And the end result is now we are able to play back sound either from the edge track of a magnetic film or from a full track uh, recording and digitize that separately. So that's uh, treated as uh, a separate item to the film. But uh, here goes. Let's have a listen. Let's switch on. Here we go. So there's actually a sprocket going around there, sprocketed drive, and uh, there you go. This is to keep the wound flat at a minimum, so there's a lot more uh, buffering here uh, for playback. And there's the very sexy V meter. So yeah, kind of happy with that. Um, it sounds a lot like Santana to me. So it kind of looks like a reel to reel, but it's not. It's uh, it's it's anything but a reel to reel, really, because it's running on a very different system. It's got um, three sets of double heads here. And uh, really a very interesting piece of kit. I might actually retrofit the other machine as well, just for the hell of it, because I kind of enjoy doing it. And I'm still gonna put a couple of control switches in just to make this easier, because right now it's just running on there. Switch the mains on and it goes. And I kind of want something a little bit more uh, user-friendly, shall we say. But uh, this cabinet, I actually bought this on eBay. It's an 8U cabinet. Um, wasn't too bad cost-wise and uh, because this this was designed to be in a big metal projector frame which obviously you know genuinely couldn't be couldn't be asked for that so now we've got a very tidy little player for our 
for our magnetic audio, uh, for, for decoding magnetic audio. Obviously, it's a service we offer to the public. Um, or if you're uh, somebody who offers our same services as us, but you don't have a facility to play back this type of material, we're happy to do it for you as well. And um, that's really today's update. Uh, I like to keep it interesting. So there we have it, a Sonder M3. Uh, scary to think this thing was something like 30,000 francs uh, when it was sold in 1973. That was serious money, you know. So, yeah, just happy to have it. I mean, this thing is just solid. <laughs> this thing, if you drop this on your toe, you'll be going to hospital. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Howard from avtransfers.co.uk saying bye for now.